A very good morning. Welcome to the pharmacology sessions, our YouTube sessions. So I am Dr. Sneha Ishwarya, Assistant Professor from Department of Pharmacology, Sri Balaji Medical College. So pharmacology as such is such a fascinating subjects with so much of uh, uh, magical pharmaco mechanism of actions. So this is going to be an interesting subject. So coming to the teaching aspects of pharmacology, we just divide pharmacology into two bigger division that is the general pharmacology and systemic pharmacology so what happens in general pharmacology is we'll be teaching you all the general aspects about drugs and uh, also the clinical trial aspects uh, so uh, the discovery of drugs everything will be and the launch of a drug everything will be covered in general pharmacology and in systemic pharmacology we'll be teaching you what actually happens after drug is taken in that is the action of drug in various systems so we'll be covering you from the uh, start right from the central nervous system to the genitourinary system, right? So today's class, uh, the next upcoming topics will be about the general pharmacology, uh, which is a uh, important core uh, uh, thing in pharmacology. And today's class is about terminologies in pharmacology. So uh, at the end of the class, you'll be know knowing some important terminologies, which will be very useful. Uh, in the further classes in the upcoming classes right so once again welcome to the class and let me start with the uh, first slide so coming to the learning objectives so you will be uh, introduced about some of the basic concepts like pharmacokinetics pharmacodynamics and pharmacotherapeutics also you'll understand the basics about the nature and sources of drug also you'll be understanding the concept of drug nomenclature drug compendias and also about essential medicines. So these are the learning objectives of today's class. Terminologies. So introducing you to the terminologies. Pharmacology. What is pharmacology? It is the science of drug dealing with interaction of an exogenously administered chemical molecule with living system. Right. So when an ex, uh, this is just uh, a science which deals with uh, interaction about an exogenous chemical substance with a living system. Living system as such may be human being or any living system as such, right? And what is drug? It is a substance or a product that is used or intended to be used to modify or explore the physiological system, which is our physiological, normal physiological system or a pathological state, a disease state, right? For, a ben for the benefit of the patient, right? So this is a drug. So this drug, uh, definition of drug uh, was introduced by WHO. So who is the scientist? He is Oswald Schmidberg. He is the father of pharmacology. Right. So this is about pharmacology and drug. So coming to the next important topic, pharmacokinetics. Right. So what is pharmacokinetics? What does the word tell? It is about how the, what the body does to the drug right so what do you mean what the body does to the drug so whatever what happens so can you see this picture uh, there is something called absorption distribution metabolism and excretion so pharmacokinetic refers to the movement of a drug in an alteration of the drug by the body which includes absorption distribution binding localization storage biotransformation and excretion of a drug so what happens is when we take a drug it should be observed right so again this absorption may be oral so we take it orally then it is the oral absorption 
so do you know some drugs are given rectally so this is rectal absorption right so some will be given intravenously and some will be given even sublingually so we have various routes by which the drug will be absorbed right so after absorption what will happen it will be distributed to various parts of the body right so this is about distribution so in distribution you will be learning about different compartments in our body and also you will be introduced to concepts like plasma protein binding right so um, our plasma how much of the drug will be uh, available in a free form how much will be available in uh, bond form in the which will be bound to the plasma proteins all those will be dealt in distribution and binding and um, some drugs will be utilized and some drugs will be stored so all those will be dealt in distribution and what is biotransformation it is the metabolism so once the drug is distributed it will be metabolized so uh, uh, um, so what uh, we, uh, we have uh, the liver is the major site of metabolism so other than liver we also have some sites uh, uh, like um, kidney and also uh, we have various sites where this metabolism occurs but the main organ for metabolism is liver so all the drug which is taken is mostly metabolized in liver and finally excretion and the major uh, queen organ in ex excretion is your kidney and of course some um, excretion will also occur through your bile and also some other roots so all these will be totally uh, taught in the chapter pharmacokinetics so this is a, just an introduction about pharmacokinetics right so here uh, in this picture um, uh, and uh, not, uh, the whole pharmacokinetics is explained in a nutshell, right? So, uh, absorption, how will it uh, get in? That is absorption. What is distribution? Where will it go? What is metabolism? Uh, how, what happens? That is metabolism, right? And finally, excretion. So, how is it uh, going out of the body? That is excretion, right? So, this is all about pharmacokinetics. So, what is pharmacokinetics? I repeat again, what the body does to the drug. So next comes an important uh, interesting topic that is pharmacodynamics and what is here it is what the drug does to the body. So what uh, happens here is uh, um, what uh, what happens after the uh, drug is coming as an active form it will go and interact with something called receptors and it will produce action in the body to make that physiological or pathological change right so what happens after the drug is uh, produced as an active form right so uh, this is all about pharmacodynamics so it is again a separate chapter and we'll be teaching you about the physiological and biochemical effect of drug and their mechanism of action at cellular subcellular and also macromolecular level so this is all about pharmacodynamics so this picture again tells you pharmacodynamics in a nutshell pharmacodynamics that is after metabolism what is the effect of the drug in the body right so that is about pharmacodynamics so next slide is about pharmacotherapeutics and clinical pharmacology so here now we have to differentiate what is pharmacodynamic pharmacotherapeutics and also what is clinical pharmacology right so pharmacotherapeutics it is the application of pharmacological information together with the knowledge of the disease the prevention mitigation and cure right so now you're going to apply whatever your uh, your bread in pharmacology to treat the patient that is pharmacotherapeutics and here comes the term clinical pharmacology. So you should not uh, confuse between pharmacotherapeutics and clinical pharmacology. So pharmacotherapeutics is application of uh, the pharmacological knowledge in treating the patient, right? Like, uh, which, which is like prescribing the drug for curing. That is pharmacotherapeutics. But clinical pharmacology is again another branch in pharmacology which uh, describes about the scientific study of the drug in man, which includes pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic investigation in healthy volunteers as well as in patients. Its main aim is to generate the data for optimum use of the drug and practice the evidence-based medicine, right? So what is uh, clinical pharmacology is, uh, um, so we are uh, learning, uh, that is here comes all your uh, uh, clinical trials. So in drug discovery stage, we have different stages like uh, uh, pharma, phase one, phase two, phase three, phase 
फोर राइट सो फेज जीरो सो फेज जीरो इज एनिमल स्टडी देन कम्स फेज वन एंड फेज टू ट्रायल्स वेर हेल्दी वॉलेंटियर्स और इन्वॉल्व एंड देर वी गिव द ड्रग एंड वी मेशर द फार्मोको काइनेटिक एंड फार्मोको डायनेमिक पैरामीटर्स इन दैन हाउ द ड्रग एक्चुअली एक्ट्स इन देर डिफरेंट इन द बॉडी कंपार्टमेंट्स राइट सो ऑल दिस इज इन टोटो कॉल्ड एज एविडेंस बेस्ड मेडिसिन एंड the whole um, branch as such is called as clinical pharmacology right so now do you understand all the scientific study which is done in healthy volunteers uh, um, is about clinical pharmacology but applying the pharmacological knowledge to in treating patient is pharmacotherapeutics right so this uh, this completes this slide so next is chemotherapy so by the word chemotherapy with what comes to our mind is cancer treatment right so here i want to differentiate that uh, it is not only cancer treatment it is also uh, uh, antibiotics or even that is a chemotherapy right so it is the treatment of systemic infections or malignancies with specific drug that have selective toxicity to the infective organisms or malignant cells with uh, no or minimal effect on host cells right so uh, um, in chemotherapy we target the organism or the malignant cells with with a minimal effect to the uh, host cells right so that describes uh, chemotherapy which is again divided into chemotherapeutic agents and pharmacodynamic agents right so coming to the next uh, terminology toxicology so what does it mean toxicology so toxicology is a uh, study of poisonous effect of uh, drugs and other chemicals with emphasis on detection prevention and treatment of poisoning it also includes study of adverse effects of drugs so uh, reading about the uh, uh, adverse effects and this uh, adverse effects is also toxicology and also telling uh, reading about the um what is toxicology is uh, um, a, we, uh, a complete knowledge about uh, um the poisonous uh, compounds or and also when a drug is uh, taken in overdose it is again toxic so a, a branch which uh, deals with the detection of poisons the with the and also uh, for the treatment of poisons all together is toxicology right sources of drugs so coming to the sources of drug we again broadly classify them into natural source and uh, synthetic source so na natural obtained from the natural products right so this includes plants animals microorganisms and minerals like uh, so uh, drugs and examples of drugs obtained from plants include quinine reserpine and morphine so drugs obtained from animal sources include insulin and heparin so drugs obtained from microorganisms include antibiotics and examples of drugs obtained from minerals like iron calcium so all these are obtained from minerals right so these are all the natural sources which includes plant animal microorganisms and minerals next is synthetic drugs so they are synthesized in drug companies and drug industries right so this is synthetic so what is the advantage of natural drug i mean synthetic drug over natural drug is it can be produced in large amount they have a great selectivity and novel action so uh, examples include all the benzodiazepines thiazides all these are synthetic drugs now here comes the concept of biotechnology so you would have um, learnt about dna recombinant technology in your uh, biochemistry so drugs produced by this technology is uh, but all the biochemical uh, biotechnological sources of drugs and examples for this includes human growth hormone and insulin and monoclonal antibodies right so this completes the sources of drug uh, so we learnt about natural sources and synthetic sources and the main advantage of the synthetic sources uh, they have uh, high selectivity and also it can be produced in larger amount so next comes drug nomenclature so about drug nomenclature you should have heard about generic drugs brand drugs okay um, so what are those how will you differentiate a generic name and a brand name so that is all about this slide so chemical name first it describes the substance chemically like for example one isopropyl na amino 3 one naphthyl oxypropanol so how was it 
it was so cumbersome and not just and this is not suitable in prescribing right so can you prescribe to each person like this with a, such a big name no so this is not at all practiced so what is practiced generic name and brand name to the ones which are practiced now what is generic name they are the chemical or pharmacological uh, group of the compounds they are applied to the chemical for example phenothiazines so these are generic name what is brand name which is assigned by the manufacturer for example rantac right so every drug will be having a generic name and a brand name so brand name is nothing but uh, uh, it it is named by the different brands so even for uh, paracetamol dolo is the brand name but paracetamol is the generic right so what should you prescribe you should always prescribe the generic name and not the brand name why to uh, this is only uniform everywhere even in uk or in london or uh, in us everywhere generic name will be common it is the common name uh, when i tell phenothiazines it is actually uh, there everywhere but what about brand name each country will have different brand each area will have different brand so to maintain the uniformity this generic name is the one which should be prescribed and of course generic names uh, generic uh, uh, drugs uh, will be of cheaper cost right so brand brand again uh, um, just like a shirt um, uh, your different shirts have different cost like your lp will be having different cost the same applied here so brands each brand we are having different cost so an ethical practice in ethical practice it is always better to write a generic name right so all this will be taught to you in detail in um, prescription writing next pharmaco ther therapeutics and clinical pharmacology sorry this was already told next slide is uh, uh, next is about essential medicine and orphan drugs so what is essential medicine so what does the uh, word essential medicine imply essential what is essential right which prior which is the priority the word priority is important which satisfy the priority healthcare needs of the patient so where does this essential medicine come so when you go to a phc there is a primary healthcare what happens there what is there all the important drugs which is common the call the common diseases or uh, all the so uh, dolo what is uh, paracetamol it is an essential medicine so what is uh, an uh, protonpam inhibitor it is an essential medicine so uh, how will they uh, calculate the essential medicine is uh, i mean uh, identify the essential medicine is so they will actually uh, find what are the common drugs in that particular locality and essential medicine will be formulated right so these are the medicines which should be there in a hospital which should be there in an phc which should be there in an uh, pharmacy so um, these are the essential medicines and we have a big list about the, of essential medicines and orphan drugs as the name implies these are biological products given for some rare diseases right so these are orphan drugs so this is about essential medicine and orphan drugs so finally um, introducing uh, you to drug compendia so these are nothing but compilation of information of drugs in form of monographs right so now we have two different types of drug compendia right drug uh, they are drug pharmacopoeias and drug formularies so what is the difference between these drug pharmacopoeias and formularies so pharmacopoeias contains the chemical and other pharmacological properties of the approved drug whereas formularies contain the dose dosage form precautions contraindications of the prescribed drug so uh, pharmacopoeias are not used by the prescribers whereas formularies are used by the prescribers right so example is indian pharmacopoeia which is the drug pharmacopoeia but the national ph formulary of india Mm, is the formulary which is used by the prescriptioners right so this completes uh, uh, today's uh, class so in today's class uh, we learnt about uh, some important concepts like uh, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics i also introduced you about the sources of drugs like uh, they are mainly classified into natural sources and synthetic sources and also i taught you about the drug nomenclature right so uh, we now know the difference between the, what is a generic drug and a 
brand drug, right? So this will be uh, very important when you start practicing medicine. And finally, we also learned about some important terminologies like orphan drugs, essential medicine, and also about drug compendias. That is, now we know the difference between a drug formulary and a drug, pharmaco uh, drug pharmacopias, right? So this completes our uh, class. So I hope it was interesting. Thank you all for your patient listening.